as John Jacob Astor and his history just sort of dies with his death, except for this family that inherits this money. And, um, and that's what I was talking about there a little bit earlier. Charlotte and Carolyn, those people. What happened? These are the grandchildren. These are the, ch he had Astor's children and his grandchildren. They've got all this money. And here they're fighting after this title. It's 1880. They want that title. What happens in that situation there? It's pretty interesting because here's Carolyn and she's this powerful woman and she wants that title. And she says, that's my title. And here's the son of Charlotte and she says, that's my wife's title. And so they both start using it. The New York papers come out, the, the Mrs. Astors, you know, it'd be almost like saying the first ladies, you know. I mean, it was like everybody is laughing about this and they're fighting, fighting for this. What does Carolyn do? She remodels her house. She she makes a ballroom inside of her house where 400 people can dance because she's saying, well, I am the Mrs. Astor and I've got to have a place where people can come and, 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 and I can entertain them. And the nephew, he's trying his best. He's trying to talk to the publicist. He's trying to, to get his wife up there, but he just can't do it. And the nephew realizes, I can't compete against this woman. She's too powerful. So he just waits and waits and waits and she does this big expansive remodel of the house and he waits until they drive the last nail and then he tears down his father's house right next door and in its place he builds what he thinks will be the most disrespectful thing he could ever build right next to his aunt's house he builds a hotel a hotel where the great unwashed will come and go right next to Carolyn's house. They'll be looking in her windows. She's just furious. And so he builds this big hotel. Oh, you know, people, respectable people then stay in hotels. Then you went to somebody's house. You built this hotel, calls it the Waldorf. Carolyn is just furious. She's just furious. And she waits until that hotel's all done. And then she goes, okay, buddy. And she tears down her house. And she's going to build the most disrespectful thing that she could ever think of building right next to a hotel. She's going to build New York's biggest um, stable for horses and taxi cabs where there'd be horse manure and boys whistling and, and you look out the window and here's people feeding horses and manure coming into the windows and so that's what she's going to do and then she decides no I think I'll show him I'll build a bigger